stress and hair loss. A lot of times they can go together. They don't have to go together. You can be very stressed but have a great head of hair. But there are times where people say, I've been really stressed. I've noticed less hair, less volume. When I put my hair in a ponytail, it just feels like there's just a lot less volume of it. So is that true? Does stress have anything to do with it? Well, it can. So there's different types of hair loss. There's genetic hair loss, where we see more thinning hair. And there's a telogen effluvium, which is more of a shedding hair. There's other autoimmune causes of hair loss as well. In general, stress can cause a shedding of hair, which is referred to as a telogen effluvium. A shedding of hair, the hair, you notice more hair falling out in the shower, on your hair brush, you may see more hair coming out. Now it's normal to shed about 100 hairs a day, but this is more excessive shedding. And stress can cause it. It could be work stress, home stress, any stressor on you can trigger a shedding of hair. You may notice less hair, uh, less volume. Uh, you may notice yourself, usually it's not very noticeable to other people, but you may notice less hair. This may occur for several months, but in general, that hair that's shed should grow back in. So it's not a permanent loss of hair. What's best to do if you can is to modify your stressors, de-stress yourself. It'll help you in life. It'll help your hair and be confident that your hair will come back in. You have to take care of yourself, eat well, good diet, good nutrition, that helps. But you know, trying to modify or reduce your stressors, that can always help your hair.